Good morning guys! Today I am showing you a day in my life as a nursing student with three kids. Uh, we already went ahead and ate breakfast. All of my kids ate breakfast, my mom, myself. We all had breakfast and we got ready for our morning. I didn't get to show that because it was very fast and hectic. But right now I am getting my daughter ready for her online class and I am getting myself ready to complete assignments and before I do that I like writing. Um, what I need to get done for the week and especially for the day just so I stay focused and on top of things uh, mentally and in written form not to forget right I like to cross things out and my daughter her teacher usually has technical difficulties so I'm hoping her with that right now and I'm gonna go ahead and write a few things down that I need to get done throughout the week and the day I like to scratch some stuff off I have a discussion to do, a TI assignment to get done, and some reading and taking notes for our first quiz because I just completed my first week of public health in nursing and I am very excited because I am learning new things. Now I'm going to go ahead and help my daughter with her first assignment. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Animales. Animales. Del. Del. Libro. Libro. Comen. Comen. Pescado. Pescado. A. A. Ratones, ratones. Y ardillas. Y ardillas. ¿Comen pescado? No. Okay. Halcones y osos. ¿Comen pescado? Sí. That sounds correct. Okay. C. No, you always have to read all the choices. Although you, you think this is the right answer, you still have to finish the rest. C. Saltamontes y lechuzas. ¿Cuál de esos come pescado? Okay, so my daughter has a 10 minute break and that means that I have a 10 minute break from like whatever is going on on the computer because it's like I'm trying to focus on mine but I can't because I have to like focus on her stuff at the same time. Okay, and I just still have to figure out a routine for the morning because oh my goodness. And then um, I look at my emails, I come and uh, prepare my agenda and see like what I'm going to do for the day. Um, if I haven't written it down, I'll write it down as you guys saw. This school stuff, I don't know about you. I don't know if you're a nursing student that's a mom with kids in school. You know, obviously kids can go back to school. My daughter is a very interactive person, so she likes to be in person. She doesn't really like FaceTime, like online stuff. Like she doesn't even like to take pictures or get filmed often. So it's very hard for her to stay still in front of the camera and it breaks my heart because um, she's sitting down, you know, trying to listen to the teacher and focus, but she just can't. Um, she just tells me, like, I can't wait to go back to school. And I explain to her, you know, what's going on and, like, why they can't go back. And that one day, when it's safe to go back, she'll be back and she'll see her friends and she'll learn better that way. And my son was supposed to start preschool, but he didn't. So I'm kind of glad for that because I would not be able to, like, handle his stuff. <laughs> her on the computer, him on the computer, me on the computer, because I have lectures sometimes too, and sometimes like when she's on the computer, I have to be on the computer too. And she, I just learned how to um, um, work the computer that they gave me from school, so that's why we have two computers now. But last week it was a little hectic because she had to use my computer, and then the days that I had lecture, she wouldn't be on her class because I had to use a computer. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I will stop talking and go back to, like, day in the life. All right.
so I started to do some of the work and I wanted to like complete some work but I cannot concentrate because Sophia's computer has to be on so this is one of the issues that I have right now because even as I'm talking now you guys can probably hear like her class and her teacher talking and I cannot concentrate and so I'm just usually around 1130 to 1230 that's when I like usually work out um, and so by the time that she has lunch I can make her like a little snack for lunchtime and then I can continue working working out but yeah that's usually what I have been doing uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I can't concentrate until she's like almost finished with her work and her class that way I can fully concentrate on mine because I was sitting there trying to you know I did start and I did continue writing on my paper and a few other notes and organizing my agenda for what to do today I did do that but I can't continue like reading with that okay <laughs> And my mom took my youngest baby for a walk or I don't know where the heck she went because she didn't tell me <laughs> just she just always like goes for a walk or her my aunt's house which is like a few blocks away from our house so or the store and then she just takes him in the stroller and she usually does it around this time that's why I can get a work out in so so yeah, that's another reason the baby's not here so I can work out. And I do work out even though he's here. I'll just put his mat and then I'll put toys and then he'll just play while I exercise. So let's get to, let's get this done. Okay, because my mind is... I finished my workout it's like 12 something I don't know but my daughter had her lunch break and I gave her a small snack and um, my mom came back with my son and he wanted to go to sleep so I finished my workout pretty fast I only showed you guys like a few workouts that I did um, I didn't show you the whole thing so um, typically I do like 30 minutes or like 40 minutes of work different types of workouts usually cardio hit I warm up first and then um, I do like planks and like well that's hit um, and I cool off after and so I put my son to sleep and now I'm gonna shower and get ready and then um, my daughter has like another hour or so of class and then um, I'll sit down next to her finish assignments with her and um, then I'm gonna get ready uh, to finish my work. So I'm gonna go ahead and shower and then get ready for the rest of the day. So which shows six plus one? Right. Good. Okay, which equation does the picture show? So how many, how many are in total? Uh, I know. Honey, oh, yes, okay. Uh, okay. I don't need it. <laughs> okay, you go. Which equation does the picture show? Equals uh -huh. seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> These are all seven, right there yes. the wall. <laughs> it's okay, one. what's that Wait. one? Can just read this one? Okay, is the yes. Here's the ways to make nine. Find the pattern and type the missing addition sentence. Okay, strange computer. <laughs> okay, so you gotta see the pattern. The math. Okay, do the equation for the pattern oh, on it. Um this one is I know. Oh, don't rip my work. It's nine. Sorry. Okay. 
This one is zero. Wait. Plus oh, sign. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, well, what's the next one? Well, you said zero, didn't yes, you? Yes, okay. So space. Remember, you have to make a space. Oh, yes. My son is playing with his toys while my mom watches him, and I can get some studying done. He's learning how to stand up on his own. <laughs> Landing! Agarrate bien! And so, very thankful for my mom because she watches my kids while I study a bit and... Yeah. So I'm bringing ice cream to my girl. You guys have ice cream? I'm not going to show them because <laughs> they don't like being on video too much. So yeah, ice cream for summer. <laughs> now I have to go back. <laughs> To study. He gets ice cream too. <laughs> okay. This is my studying mess. Right now I'm writing a paper. I'm like more than halfway done. But oh my goodness, guys. Public health is a lot of writing. Okay, guys. So I am in public health and I wrote down everything for my syllabus, assignments, due dates, um, exams, quizzes, proctored all that I wrote I write it down the first week or like before the first uh, the first week right so I know what's coming ahead and being in an accelerated nursing program um, I have to do that if not like everything is overwhelming because I also have to do hours and public health is like 70 hours well no it's a hundred hours and it's 70 hours is from like clinicals but right now with quarantine, we're not going to clinical, so um, um, we have to do, well, some sites do have you go now. I think they're starting to, but my site isn't going to, well, as of now, they're not allowing us back, but we do have to do like little stuff for them at home. Um, and I haven't started that yet, but I will next week. Um, but public health is a lot of projects. Or I feel like a lot of like reading and a lot of like ethics and like small projects with groups. Um, especially for clinical, um, I have like several uh, presentations to do. Yeah, and then for issues and trends, I don't know if every nursing program has that, but the BSN at least do, I think. That one just kind of has a lot of writing on like scenarios um, on ATI. There's uh, scenarios on like ethical issues and we have to write about that. So that's what I'm doing right now. But public health, um, I started studying the chapters because we're going to have our first quiz uh, week two. A lot of people do not so well in the proctored exam for public health. I think because people underestimate public health, like they feel like more laid back or like they don't think that they should work as hard as like med surge or like OB or something or peds but um, I didn't want to get unmotivated this term because I knew that if I have that mentality it's easier for me to be more laid back and not be on top of my stuff so I put it in my mind that although public health is a lot of reading and not so much like other terms um, or other subjects that I'm gonna be on top of my presentations and studying because I want to do well especially on that proctored exam I got a level 3 on my ATI proctored for peds um, a level 3 which is the highest last term um, so I want to keep it going for public health I want a level 3 and for uh, advanced med surge I want a level 3 as well so I just want to keep this mentality of like level 3 level 3 be on top of my stuff overachiever you know from now well you know keep it going um, because you know for the past couple of months like I've been on top of my stuff but it hasn't been like overachiever status okay so now I want to be that um, and because this is my second to last term before preceptorship and then it's like it's done so I want to take these last terms in especially because fall like with the season two like fall is coming and then you know Christmas is coming and all that stuff uh, at the same time that I have these terms 
so I want to be able to like be on top of my stuff so I can do all these other activities with my kids and not be like oh my god I can't take you guys out or like do these like fun holiday activities because I'm over here stuck studying okay so yeah that's the goal that's my motivation okay just wanting to have a good score um, overall um, yeah so uh, I don't want to talk too much I talk too much in all my videos but okay anyways I'm gonna finish up my papers and um, my assignments and start studying <sighs> For dinner, my mom made, she made um, this bean, white bean bacon and sausage soup. It has like cilantro in there. And for the kids, they ate um, steak with french fries and they loved it. I had some of that too. Yeah, now I'm eating this soup with a uh, flour tortilla with like queso fresco inside. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night because I just finished cleaning the house a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and get the kids ready for bed and my, the baby, because he's the first one to go down. Hi sweetie. And um, yeah, they start getting ready for bed. Um, I start getting ready for bed. Um, before that, I'm probably gonna look over a few things that I have to still get done this week um, just so I can get mentally prepared for tomorrow morning uh, tomorrow morning my daughter has school from 9 to 1 40 and then um, I get to finish my assignments after that um, I try to get stuff done while she's in school but she needs a, a lot of my help to navigate through um, the internet and uh, like assignments that the prof her professor wants her to do so yeah the evening is usually my time to actually sit down um, my mom helps me so much as you guys saw um, small clips of her helping um, look after my my the little one mostly because he's the one that can put stuff in his mouth um, the other ones don't really need as much watching over of course they do my house is really small so um, you know they're pretty well behaved kids um, but the baby is the one that I need the most help with because he just needs a hawk over him um, and she also prepares a lot of the meals during the day for us um, so I'm really grateful for that um, um, today is not how it is every day it changes but pretty much what you saw today is pretty much the routine um, but it changes you know things pop up uh, we go out or um or i have more work sometimes or i have less work and my mom doesn't cook sometimes and stuff like that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i wish i could have showed you guys more of my day but that video would be 24 hours long <laughs> um i hope to make more videos like this i just want to you know get the days like how the days are when I was in nursing school, look back and be like, oh, that's how it was. You know, okay, so my son is crying. I'm going to go get him and breastfeed him because I still breastfeed. He's going to be one in like two, three weeks. And I've been breastfeeding for like seven years. <laughs> There's been like a few months of blocks where I haven't. But um, yeah, pretty much seven years breastfeeding. And I'm thinking I want to stop breastfeeding him by the time, hopefully before I graduate which is like in April of next year. So, yeah, wish me luck with that because <laughs> he seems to be the most clingy 
when it comes to breastfeeding. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good night or whenever you guys are watching this, it's good night for me. So, see you later.